Okay, let's talk about a common error that a lot of people make on their calculator. So I don't want you to make this error because we're going to be dealing with powers and exponents and powers and exponents are everywhere in mathematics. So you need to know how to evaluate these things properly on your calculator. So here is a nice problem right here. Hopefully you have a calculator available uh, with you. Now, if you don't, you could probably pull one up on your cell phone or on your web browser, but go ahead and figure out what three to the two fifths power is. If you know how to do this, put the, your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct answer here in just uh, one second, but we're gonna be talking about an error that a lot of people make, all right? You need to know how to use your calculator properly. So anyways, you want to stick around for a couple uh, minutes just to make sure you're not making this mistake. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. It's my absolute passion to teach mathematics. And I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Who cares if you failed math before or if you're struggling right now? The past doesn't have to be equal to the future, okay? What you need to do is change things up. You need some encouragement, and most importantly, you need great math instruction, like super clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're studying for, something like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, a teacher certification exam, anything with the math section on it, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well, because you need something to study uh, from. You, know, you simply can't learn math by not taking notes, right? Um, no one, I mean, there are a few people that have like photographic memories, memories, but those are like what 0.0001% of the population. All of us need to take notes. And the better you are at note taking, the better you're going to be at math. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at this answer right now. So three to the two fifths power, get your calculator out, put your answer into the comment section. What is the answer? Well, here it is. So three to the two fifths power is approximately 1.55, and this is rounded off, so it's not exactly this, but it's 1.55. If you got basically 1.55 and some decimals, you did this problem correctly. Now, some of you might be in shock. You might be saying, wait a minute, uh, you know, I got a different answer. I know I did this right. Well, listen, hold on one second, because you very well uh, could have made this mistake, but if you got this correct, well, I must give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars to celebrate your math success. Now, just because you might be a little frustrated, it all depends on what type of calculator you're using. So those of you over here that got this right, if you're using like a TI-84, a TI-83, these are like supercomputer graphing calculators. These are like awesome calculators. Well, they're going to kind of keep you out of trouble with a lot of this stuff. So a lot of what I'm talking about with this particular error also depends on what type of calculator you're using. So if you're using something like a TI-34, maybe a scientific calculator or, you know, certainly some sort of basic calculator on your cell phone or on your web browser, you certainly can make this error. Okay, these advanced uh, calculators here um, really kind of uh, take a lot of the guesswork out of mathematics. I would suggest if you don't have one of these calculators, don't feel compelled to buy one of these as they are expensive. But if you're going to be taking anything like Algebra 2 and beyond, College Algebra, anything uh, after the Algebra 1 level, I would suggest definitely, matter of fact, it's oftentimes required for your math course to have one of these calculators. Okay? But um, a, a basic scientific calculator like a TI-34 will suit you just fine. But let's go ahead and talk about how we find powers on our calculator. Okay, so before we do this problem here, three to two fifths power, let's just do something easy here, like two cubed, right? So what does this mean? It means two times two times two. Of course, we know the answer is eight. So two to the third power is eight. But let's just make sure we can use our calculator correctly so we can get or kind of do a little test problem so you can do two cubed in your calculator and make sure you get eight. 
So what do we need to type into our calculator? Well, most calculators are going to have one or the other in terms of the buttons that you need to use. So this is probably the most common. This is called a caret key. I'll show you how to use this in a second. And then here we have it like a, uh, a Y to the X. You'll have some sort of function like this or this on your calculator, all depending on what you're using. So sometimes this is X to the Y, but this is, it's going to be one or the other. So let's talk about how to uh, uh, find two cubed on your calculator. So you would go two, you would type in two, and then you would type in, let's say, for example, we'll use the caret key, and then you would type in a three. So this means two cubed. You hit the enter sign or the equal sign and you'll get eight. So make sure you could do that before we take a look at this problem, just so you have some sort of basic understanding of how to find powers on your calculator. Now, if you don't have this button and you have a button like this, go and just replace this button with this button and uh, do this problem just to make sure you can do basic powers on your calculator because you're going to have to be able to evaluate powers on your calculator. It's very, very important. Now, a lot of you think that, you know, oh, just because you got a calculator, that's going to just do all the work for you. Not necessarily. You have to kind of, you know, put information in correctly into your calculator. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this mistake. All right. So let's talk about uh, plugging in uh, three to the two fifths power. Okay. So now I'm going to don't let's not look at this one second. Let me just show you the buttons here. OK, so what we would do is go what What would go three. Right. So just based upon what I just told you, three. Now we're doing powers. So we'll put the carrot key and then two fifths is going to be what two divided by five. Right. So three carrot two divided by five. We hit uh, equal sign. And what came uh, what comes out? 1.8. So if you have 1.8 as your answer, this is incorrect in terms of the, this uh, problem. 3 to the 2 fifths power is not 1.8, but you're saying, what are you talking about? You just typed it out correctly. Well, what we just typed out here is not 3 to the 2 fifths power. What we just typed out is 3 squared divided by 5. So uh, let's just take a look at this. So right here, Let's think about the order of operations. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we don't have any parentheses. So what are we going to do next? E is powers, right? So here, this, this part means 3 to the second power. This is 3 to the second power. If I said uh, find this, 3 to the second power divided by 5, okay, evaluate this problem you would type it in this way, three to the second power divided by five. So we're effectively doing this problem or this problem right here when we type out all these numbers like so, okay? Now, this is very confusing. A lot of students, you know, just blindly plug in uh, the numbers this way. And it's a common, it's a, it's, this is a easy error to, ma uh, to make. So I'm not trying to, you know, um, you know, be harsh on you if you made this error because there is a little subtlety here. So we have to be very careful. But just so you understand, when we type out the numbers this way, what you just found out is 3 squared divided by 5, or 9 divided by 5, which is 1.8. That is not the correct answer. Now, if you have one of those TI-83 or TI-84 um, calculators, graphing calculators, guess what? When you type in 3 to the 2 fifths power, you're literally going to see like a three to the two fifths in your screen. So that's pretty awesome and whatnot. But if you're using one of these more basic calculators, you're not. Okay. So again, this really all depends on what type of calculator you're using. All right. So this three to the two fifths power is, this is, you know, the wrong way to type it into our calculator. So let's go ahead and fix this up. This is not that difficult to fix up. So what we need to do is type it in this way. Okay. We have three, so we're going to type in three. We're going to take a power. We're going to put an exponent on three. But what we have to do is put some parentheses in, some grouping symbols. So effectively, what we're doing is this, three to the two-fifths power. So now when it comes to PEMDAS, right, your order of operations, you're going to do what's inside the parentheses first. And what's inside the parentheses? Two divided by five, okay? So this is going to avoid you... Um, finding three squared, okay, first. So we're going to get this value, and then we're going to take three 
to uh, to the two fifths explicitly by just putting in those grouping symbols, those parentheses. Okay, so we do parentheses first. After everything's done here, then we're going to do our e or our powers part next. And then when we do that, we type in uh, uh, everything in or into our calculators this way. You're going to get uh, three to two fifths power, which is approximately 1.55. And of course, there's more decimals, but you get the idea. This is a very common mistake, and how do I know this is a common mistake? Well, guess what? Over my decades, not years of teaching math, decades, right, <laughs> of teaching math, how many tests, quizzes, homework, you know, people who I've tutored, thousands and thousands of students have helped, probably like 100 million pieces of uh, paper that I've handled, maybe not that much, yeah, I'm kind of exaggerating, but you see the trends through the years and through the decades, and I'm like, you know, this is a common type of thing, and you're not going to learn this in a math book. A math book isn't going to be like, hey, you know, for the most part, most math textbooks aren't going to highlight these errors. That's what I'm trying to do in my... Um, videos is bring out you know, like little tips and things that you need to focus on as a math student that aren't such like common uh, knowledge because if you're making a mistake and you get frustrated and you don't know why you're getting the wrong answer you know you could you know get frustrated in math which will tend to uh, you know uh, make you think that you're bad at math right you're like oh well, I'm bad at math because I'm frustrated I don't get math well listen all you need is someone to actually explain what you're doing wrong and oftentimes it could be a little thing and then you could be like oh okay I understand that and then you could start building momentum towards success and that's what I'm trying to do to help you out so again if you're struggling in mathematics what you need is you need to just like take it one thing at a time. Learn one thing, master one skill, and kind of build up from there. So if you need additional help uh, with powers or exponents or using your calculator, I cover this in all of my courses. I probably, uh, if you're kind of getting back into math, I would suggest probably starting with like my pre-algebra course. I know in there I actually have um, a couple of um, uh, videos on how to properly kind of use your calculator, scientific calculator, etc. But again, if you're at a higher level, of mathematics like Algebra 2, College Algebra, certainly like pre-calculus, then you're going to be required to use one of those uh, more advanced graphing calculators, and they pretty much keep you out of trouble when you type in things like this. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.